Hello, I'm Eric Larson at Teletics. Today we are going to install a zipline Ethernet Extreme between two buildings at Fabutech Industries and manufacture drilling rigs. Fabutech needed a network connection between their main office and manufacturing buildings and chose the zipline Ethernet Extreme as a faster to deploy, lower cost option when compared to trenching or additional telco services. Everything needed to complete our zipline Ethernet Extreme installation comes in one box. Notice that there are two outdoor units marked Master and Remote. First, install the master radio at the main location where there is already internet service. Mount the L bracket to the back of the outdoor unit, ensuring that the bracket will hold the antenna vertically when the antenna is held so you can read the zipline logo. Install the J mounts at the desired location on both buildings and run the supplied weatherproof Category 5E cable from the inside communications rooms to the J mount locations. Loosely attach the U-bolts with the pipe grip teeth towards the pipe as shown. We will make any final aiming adjustments with the J-mount brackets. Use washers, lock washers, and nuts in that order. Slide this entire assembly over the end of the J-mount and loosely tighten the nuts just enough to prevent the outdoor unit from sliding downwards. Before doing final tightening of the nuts, try to visually aim the center of the outdoor unit to point at the other zipline Ethernet extreme. Firmly tighten the nuts using a 10 mm deep socket or wrench to ensure no further movement. Next, we need to plug the Ethernet cable into the weatherproof RJ45 connector in the bottom of the unit. The weatherproof Ethernet cable gland assembly details are contained in the manual, but you will notice that our installer simply puts the supplied cable through the gland into the RG45 connector in the bottom of the outdoor unit and hand tightens the gland. Here we see the completed installation of the Zipline Ethernet Extreme Master Unit. In this installation, the remote Zipline Ethernet Extreme has been mounted on an outdoor wall directly across the yard. The Zipline Ethernet Extreme can connect two buildings as far apart as 3.5 miles or 5 kilometers, assuming line of sight. Please check the Zipline Ethernet Extreme manual for guidelines on mounting heights for your installation. Since there are various standards for power over Ethernet, Teletics recommends using the PoE injectors and wall adapters supplied. Connect the Zipline outdoor unit to the port marked PoE, your office network to the port marked LAN, and connect the power adapter lead on the side. When you power up both Zipline Ethernet extremes, they will automatically create a bridge between the two buildings. So that's it. A high-speed Ethernet connection between two buildings in under two hours.